Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how our ancestor used to render and purify tallow using the wet method, which is the best method for purifying tallow and get the white odorless tallow. If you would like to have the tallow as this white, definitely this method that I'm going to uh, teach you is going to uh, be the best method and there is no other method that you can make tallow that white and odorless and that purified. Uh, probably you know what tallow is, that's why you're watching this video, so I'm not going to get into what tallow is and what are the benefits, but I'm going to tell you that you can use tallow in so many ways. You can use it in your cooking because it has a very high smoke point. You can use it in your daily skincare products. You can mix it and make different con kinds of balms and creams and a lot of things like sunscreens, which of course I'm going to, in my future videos, share all those recipes with you. But for this video, I'm going to show you first how to make this kind of tallow. So let's head to my kitchen and see how we can do such purified tallow together. As you can see here, I have some organic grass-fed beef fat. The best fat to make tallow, it's the fat which is around the kidneys. They are the highest quality and best nutrition kind of fat for making tallow and make sure that it has to be grass fed the fat that you're using and here I have about um, two kg of fat that we are going to prepare it Next step, we are going to uh, cut these fats into smaller chunks and get rid of all the meat that they have. As you can see, I have uh, separated all the meaty parts from the fat and I just cut them into smaller chunks. So let's go for the next step. For the next step, we are going to put the chunks inside a food processor and grind them a bit. You see how much they are being a bit grinded? This much is enough. I finished grinding all the fat and now the next step is that we are going to transfer this fat along with water in a simple pot uh, just big enough to hold on to your amount of fat you are using uh, it can be any pot and why we are using water it's for two reasons uh, basically this method is called wet method of making tallow and uh, water will prevent burning the tallow while it's cooking and in the process of rendering it as well as water will help to purify the tallow later much easier and much much better so that is why we are using water for amount of two kilo fat that i'm using to make tallow i'm using about 750 ml of water or just three cups the water basically uh, not only uh, helps it to purify much better but it will help to have a finished tallow that is completely odorless and white We are also going to add uh, about three to four tablespoons of salt to this. Now this is ready to go on low heat. Remember this has to be on low heat for several hours uh, in order to melt 
very slowly I'm going to show you the different stage of melting this and to tell you when is the sign that you know it's ready and it has to be removed from the heat and ready for purifying As you can see the fat is melting down after a while we continue because it's still uh, some chunks remained so we have to continue to do it uh, until all of the fat will be dissolved this is after a few hours again as you see it's more melted and it's started to all to come up and impurities to go down still more time needed until all the impurities to go down as you can see now all the impurities are gone down and the oil has come up uh, this is the sign that this is ready and we have to remove it from the heat at this stage we are going to separate the oil from all the impurities and uh, we are choosing a suitable bowl for it because later uh, we have to be careful what kind of uh, container we are using because later that this has become solidified we need to remove it from this bowl easily to purify it more so just make sure to use a bowl that easily you can take the fat off of it for removing the impurities we are using a strainer and a cheesecloth starting by separating the oil from the impurities okay the first step has been done now we need to let it to cool down and completely solidify you can just put it in the fridge or you can just put it somewhere cold and after that we'll come back okay now you see the tallow has been solidified now it's the process of purifying that we are going to start uh, what we are going to do is that we are going to remove this tallow that's why I told you to choose a suitable bowl so that removal would be much easier we're going to just remove this tallow and start uh, just taking the impurities okay as you see uh, the bottom is very dark color and it's like a jellish this is all the impurities that uh, has been gathered at the bottom and uh, the water and the salt that we are uh, adding to the oil it makes all the impurities to come down easily so that later we can remove it so now we can easily remove this one we are going to scrape uh, all the impurities and the dark color until we get the same color as per all the other side of the fat okay now as you see it's almost uh, the same color now it's the second step of purifying this we are going to repeat the same steps until we get a very very purified and uh, nice color tallow just uh, cut them in chunks again And what we are going to do is that we are going to put back these chunks again in the pot uh, repeat the process add water and salt and but this uh, stage is going to be much shorter so we are going to add a good amount of water 750 ml exactly as I added last time and also the same amount of salt which is three to four tablespoon of salt so 
So we are going to put this one on very low heat like before and we let it to start simmer and melt. Uh, once it starts simmering, we let it to simmer for mm, one hour and after one hour, uh, it's ready to again strain and be purified. As you see the tallow has melted under the very low heat and it starts simmering, we let it to simmer for one hour and then it's done. It's almost one hour since it's simmering, now it's ready to be removed from the heat. Okay guys, now we are going to repeat the same step again. Uh, we are going to strain it through a cheesecloth and uh, remove all the impurities and uh, put it in the fridge to solidify. Okay guys, as you can see, this is the second time the uh, oil has been solidified and our tallow is much more purified right now. Now we are going to remove this from the bowl and remove the impurities from the bottom. As you can see, the water has been come to the bottom, so we have to just remove it. All the impurities are down to the bottom. As you can see, uh, all the impurities has been just gathered here, much lesser than the first time and our tallow is much more white and odorless. We're just going to remove this one from the bottom. Okay, now we are going to cut this into pieces. If you feel your tallow needs more purifying, you can repeat the same process again, melt it with water and salt and then just do the purification one more time. As much as you do it more, it will be more purified. But for me, I believe that this is all enough and it's purified enough. Uh, it depends on what kind of fat you're using. If you're using a leafy fat, it's purified much faster. So twice I think is enough. But if you're using the fat from different parts of the cow, so you can just do the step of purification over and over until you're satisfied. It's just something personal. For me, it's good enough. So we are going to proceed now to the last step. The last stage is to melt it and transferring it to your desired jar. But there are some very important points that you need to observe in order to prevent your tallow from molding later, which I'm going to tell you during the process. So the way that I'm going to melt this is that using a double boiler method, putting a cloth inside my uh, pot and then using a jar, glass jar, melting it and then transfer it to the jar. But we have to be careful to remove all the excess water that might be remaining in the tallow because it still has water mixed with it. On the stove with medium to low heat, we let it to continue until all the tallow is melted. Our tallow is completely melted. Now it's time to transfer it to our jar for keeping it. Be careful because there still might be water in here, but uh, it's a good thing that water always goes down and oil is always comes up. So whatever that is down as water and impurities, leftover impurities you can see it easily and to not to transfer it to your jar so we are going to transfer it very carefully to our jar I can see some impurities down here and I would be very careful to not to pour them inside my tallow as you can see a dark color down there there is impurities and water that we make sure that doesn't come inside our tallow Okay, as you can see, tallow is completely done, ready to be solidified. Uh, you can keep this in the fridge, uh, much better if you keep it in the fridge. And you can use it for everything, you can use it for cooking, it has a very high smoke point. You can use it for soap making, for skincare products and whatever you want. It's very, very nutritious, very pure. And in case if your tallow is uh, after solidifying, it doesn't turn too white, don't worry after purifying several times. If you are using different kinds of, you know, breeds of cow and different kinds of 
fat around the different parts of the body of the cow. It could uh, still be um, purified, but color would be different, like yellow, that's completely fine. So don't worry about it. In future videos, I will share with you my skincare homemade natural skincare using tallow. Thank you for watching.